Hello everyone and welcome to Bowman's Dentistry. In this video, we'll talk about nicotinic stomatitis. It's an oral pathological condition which we mainly encounter in patients who smoke. So, in this video, we'll talk about everything that you have to know about nicotinic stomatitis. So, let's get started. Now, in this clinical picture, you can see that this is the maxilla of the patient and in the maxilla, you can see that this is the palatal region. Now, you can appreciate that in this palate, you can see that there are these red dots which are surrounded by this white ring-like area. So, this is dispersed through the entire area of the palate. So, this is called as nicotinic stomatitis or it is also called as smoker's palate. Now, this condition is mainly associated with patients who use tobacco and the tobacco then leads to inflammation which is then leading towards keratosis so this is an important condition it can be identified when we observe the palate of the patient and in especially those patients who are chronic smokers now this condition is mainly associated with patient who use either cigar or pipe smoker so nicotinic stomatitis is more common in patient who either use cigar or are pipe smokers now the greater the frequency of smoking the patient does the greater the chances of developing nicotinic stomatitis now an important thing that you should know is that although the risk for malignancy in this condition is very less however there have been cases where this condition if not treated or not handled properly can lead to malignant transformation as well now when we talk about signs and symptoms of the patient, mainly patients do not report any such symptom and this condition is accidentally recognized. So, initially the patient is generally unaware of this condition because initially it does not cause any symptoms to the patient. However, if the condition progresses further and starts to worsen, then patient will feel slight irritation in their palate, especially when they are eating hot and spicy food. So, in that condition, patient might complain of some irritation and even burning sensation on the palate because the inflammation of the palate which is going on. So patient will report that they are feeling some irritation, a burning sensation or discomfort especially while eating hot and spicy foods and this symptoms they will continue to increase if you do not stop smoking. So these are certain signs and symptoms which if patient starts to note then they report to a dentist. Now, when we talk about the clinical features of the patient who is suspectedly suffering from nicotinic stomatitis, as you can see in this clinical picture, you can appreciate the palate and then you can see the red dots which are dispersed all over the palate and you can appreciate that they are surrounded by a ring of white tissue which is keratosis. So, this is a classical picture of a patient who is suffering from nicotinic stomatitis. So, mainly the palate is affected and you can see that this is giving a sort of rough texture especially when you palpate it so this is a rough appearance of the palate due to chronic irritation from smoking now these red dots which you can see are present throughout the palate and they are surrounded by this ring like structure so there is keratinization throughout the palate which is due to irritation by the substances which are present in smoking now if you see these red dots, they are dispersed throughout the palate. So, these red dots basically represent this excretory duct of the salivary glands which have been inflamed and when they are undergoing inflammation and then they are trying to go towards resolution, it leads to keratosis. So, this is the reason as to why we see red dots surrounded by these white ring-like structures. Now, when we talk about how do we actually diagnose certain patients who are suffering from nicotinic stomatitis, we do not go for any x-ray, CT scan, MRI and even at times we do not go for biopsies because the clinical appearance is so characteristic so we mainly reach our diagnosis on the basis of clinical examination. The previous pictures that we saw were the classical pictures and almost always in every patient we see certain picture so that is the picture that you should keep in mind when you're diagnosing a patient who is suspectedly suffering from nicotinic stomatitis but in certain cases we do go for biopsy if we see that the lesion appears quite serious or you can see that the lesion might be leading towards oral cancer so in that case you have to make sure that you get biopsy of the patient 
so that you can rule out oral cancer. Now moving on towards how do we actually treat the patient who are suffering from nicotinic stomatitis. The treatment is quite straightforward but you should keep in one thing in mind that malignancy in cases of nicotinic stomatitis is very rare but you should keep this in mind that if smoking is not stopped it can lead to malignancy as well. So the definitive treatment of patient who is suffering from nicotinic stomatitis is simply smoking cessation. You have to stop smoking so that these lesions which are getting chronically irritated they can get a chance so that they can heal. So the most important thing and the only treatment that you have to give to the patient is simply asking them to stop smoking and lastly you have to instruct the patient to maintain good oral hygiene. So this is how you will manage a patient who is suffering from nicotinic stomatitis. So in this video we talked about everything that you have to know in order to manage a patient who is suffering from nicotinic stomatitis starting on how do we actually identify such cases then we talked about which are the signs and symptoms patient presents to us then we talked about clinical features how do we diagnose such patient and then finally we talked about how do we actually treat the patient who is suffering from nicotinic stomatitis. So I hope this video was useful for you and if you like this video please like share subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.